What can Mickey Joseph do in the short time he has to make Nebraska football a better team? Well, I'm sitting here with a site down. I've got servers down at a customer site, and they're going to take a while to come back up, hopefully. And I thought, you know, I saw Jay Foreman comment on this. on I think it was Big Red Wrap-Up or whatever the show is they do, and he talked about players basically walking around on the field. And you know what? If Jay Foreman's a really nice guy, and if he publicly comments about players walking around on the field, uh, that means it's an enormous issue. So you you can talk about doing tackling and practice for the short time you have, the few practices you have, because you are limited in the number of practices you're going to have unless you just want to do NCAA violations like some other coach. <laughs> Don't do that. Anyway, what can Mickey Joseph do? Well, in 1991, Boyd Epley, I think it was 91, Boyd Epley stood up in front of the entire Nebraska football team and he did a speech. And he did a speech about how there were a lot of guys that just did weightlifting because they had to, not because they wanted to. And it was the uh, want to versus had to speech. And basically he said, we have a whole lot of guys here that are just here and doing things because they have to, not because they want to. And when that meeting ended, basically the gist of it was everybody in that room had to commit to wanting to be there. And then we saw what happened to the rest of the 90s. That's one small, tiny piece of which made them uh, a very, very good team to the great teams we saw then. So what does Mickey Joseph need to do? I think he needs to have that. He needs to gather the 130, 50, whatever, how many players Scott Frost insisted he needed and uh, he needs to get them all in one big-ass room and say, uh, you know, some of you clearly don't want to be here, and it's time for you to leave. And it's not even a matter of them seeming like they have to be there. It seems like they don't even want to be there. And that is probably the biggest difference that you can make from here to here in a very short time. It's getting your mindset right. Like, do, you really, do I really want to fix this customer? Yeah, I do. Because if they if they have problems, it costs them business. And I know that the people that work there are going to have a lot of stress. So do I want to do this right now? Yeah, I want to fix their problems. It's what I do. For Mickey Joseph, it's clear that it, it, you watch them against Oklahoma in the second half especially. And you saw some guys there. I think somebody put out a short video of a play. Well, Dylan Gabriel's 61-yard run in the first quarter. So it wasn't even the second half of uh, guys kind of walking down the field. That's a that's a huge problem. Because what happens is, is that it, here's what happens. And you know this, maybe from your work environment. If you're working your ass off and the guy next to you is doing nothing, what's that do to you? It kind of makes you go, what the hell am I doing? Why should I work this hard? Why should I bother? Why do I even care? And then it sucks the life from an organization. It doesn't matter if it's your organization, my customer side, football field, whatever. You got to have people that are committed to doing the job that they're asked to do, especially when they get on the field. Because if guys see another guy just loafing off and screwing around, they're more apt to go, well, fuck it. I don't care either. And then Oklahoma scores 49 points and they could have scored 80. And that's the kind of shit. Get them in a big room, bring them all together. And just tell them, here's the speech I'd make. Uh, it'd basically be like this. Who doesn't want to be here? Because it's clear a lot of you don't want to be here anymore. Or you think you have to be here to keep your scholarship. We will honor your scholarship for the rest of the season, no question asked. If you don't want to be here anymore, you don't want to make the commitment to do what we ask of you, to be a football player at the University of Nebraska, it's time for you to get your ass up and walk out of this room. Nobody's going to say anything to you. Nobody's going to bother you about it. Nobody's going to announce this publicly. You're just not going to be on the Nebraska football team anymore. And then the guys who are captains have to look at those guys and say, okay, we're all committed to this, right? Because if they don't do that, then there's no accountability at that level. So you get the accountability from coaches up here that they're all going to be there and do their jobs. And then you get accountability down here amongst the worker bees that say, we're all going to do our jobs too. And then the captains are like the guys are going, hey, you didn't bother lifting any day. Get the hell out of here. That's how it kind of has to go. If we're going to get anything out of this football team in the next two weeks, 
and they're going to play well against Indiana, it's where you got to start. It's not about the guys that are fast or slow or out of position or lining up wrong. Got to be up here first. <sighs> okay, I got to get back to fixing some servers. Because people expect things of me. Look at me. I'm old, crusty. They still expect things of me. What the hell's with you younger people? You start taking the shit over. Take care of yourselves. Go Big Red!